Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, depending on what time you get up. This is Jessica Weigel here from Deep Relief Massage Therapy. So I wanted to share a video explaining how I work with specifically neck pain because that is something that I'm seeing a lot of coming in more than normal. I think it has a lot to do with just... Um, people sitting in not perfect situations from working at home and spending a lot of extra time on technology and communicating with families and friends and being at um, work extra online. It's creating a lot of neck and jaw problems. So I just wanna go over a little bit, especially if you've never seen me for an appointment, what you are likely to expect when you come in specifically for neck pain. So just kind of give you a little bit of an overview. Generally people come and see me because they are looking for specific work such as neck pain. For the most part, I generally don't do a full body too much anymore. My work is mostly um, very specific focused work. So let's uh, dive in to how I work on some neck pain and the stuff that I'm feeling for underneath uh, my hands and explaining kind of the method to the madness that I have. So usually when somebody's coming in for neck pain, I start them face down on the table and that kind of can throw people off a little bit when I say that, yes, you're coming in for neck pain, but I really need to work on these upper back, neck and shoulder area first. And this is because there are a lot of trigger points and areas of tensions and knots that kind of, not kind of, they do set up shop in that area. And the way the anatomy works is there's a lot of origins and insertions from the upper back to the neck and the head. So I'm just kind of working from the bottom up. And I tend to have the most success, especially if someone is having problems with numbing and tingling down the arms in very limited range of motion by working on the upper back neck area first laying face down. So what am I feeling for exactly? Well, generally how my work goes is, is I do very slow, intentional work. I'm really working on, in a way, sort of talking to the tissue, asking it to slowly open up and release very gently for me so that I can get deeper down into the various layers of one's body. Because usually what happens, the reason that people get quote unquote hurt or sore a lot after massage is because the, um, the therapist has dove in too quickly into the tissue and there's been a bit of a freak out moment. And the reason that I do this is because a lot of people that are coming to see me ha also have a lot of anxiety about the pain that they're feeling and, and that kind of makes people clam up quite a bit. So by me just really taking my time and just really slowly working on the layers of the tissue that relieves the anxiety quite a bit and allows the areas to open up so that I can start making some nice releases for people. So by, uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought here for a minute. And then I start working on releasing the knots 
and the trigger points again very slowly and very intentionally and I stay there until and the way that I know that the area is ready for me to go and move along someplace else the area just kind of softens up like butter and the tissue just really moves very nicely and sometimes I have to move on to the other side of the body to give that area a little bit of a break and then we or me I will come back to that area and work on it a little bit more and that usually takes generally about face down on the table about a half hour to 45 minutes just to get that area to loosen up for me and then generally about maybe about the last 15 minutes or so of a one hour session that's when I really start working on the front part the upper back a lot of times I will do the chest and the neck and work on releasing the trigger points then again very slow and intentional waiting for the tissues to soften up for me we just take as long as it takes sometimes this takes multiple sessions especially if somebody is has pretty high anxiety about the pain that they are feeling and also with neck pain usually comes jaw pain so again I usually work on the jaw last because that's a very tender area and if it isn't done carefully and relative with a lot of atten intention it can cause some chewing and talking problems. Again, working on slowly releasing all the trigger points in the area. And last but not least, I've said this in other videos before, I always do range of motion work next, turning the head, doing some stretches, opening up the spine, of the neck that stuff always gets done at the very end because I want to make sure that the tissue again is very soft and pliable and is willing and able to move like the way that I want it to so that is kind of my very uh, explanation on how I work on neck pain and jaw pain I posted a link for uh, booking online just to let everybody know I am also taking new clients I always take new clients I never stop taking new customers so you can just schedule your appointment online and if you have any specific questions about what I shared in this video you can always ask them in the comment section below and I want everyone to have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.